So I'm over here talking all this nonsense about how I have a huge death pile and somehow I ended up with a, another flip flop. So that is what I am sharing with you today. I know with this flip flop, if it doesn't work out for me, I can always ship it straight back to the client. That's the thing with flip is you can kind of try things out for free inventories just to see how things work out for you in your store, in your closet. And if it doesn't work out after 90 days, they can go right back or you can choose to extend the time period or you can choose to buy the items. I am just going to try out this one for 90 days and see how it does go. So this very first item here is Graylin dress. I've never heard of this brand, but I did research a little bit. It did come from Nordstrom. So that's just a cute little dress there. This next piece. Now the client did say that it was Nordstrom. But when I got it, uh, it was Nordstrom Rack. When you say Nordstrom on Flip, it means it's the Nordstrom brand. This is not. It is something that was sold at Nordstrom Rack. I did look up comps for Blue Heaven, and I think I can get like maybe $2 for this. So obviously I didn't get what I expected to be hitting here, but I could have done a Google Lens on the flip flop before I purchased or before I put in my bid for it. I did it because some of the other pieces is why I ended up getting this one. That one kind of was just a bonus. I didn't really care about it, to be honest. This was Urban Outfitters. Some pants. They have a little slit on the bottom. I think they're actually kind of cute. If they don't sell within the 90 day period, I might actually end up keeping this for myself. I am in education. I just switched schools and the school that I'm at is basically outside. Um, I am an administrator, so I have to monitor the kids, you know, do running around all kinds of different things throughout the day. So I'm basically outside all day. And right now in Florida, I am Florida based. It has, we have been in a little bit of heat advisory. It was 113 degrees yesterday and I was outside all day. I think I wore myself sick. I don't know if you could hear my voice, but I am definitely feeling some type of way. It was the first week of school. I get sick on the first week of school pretty much every single year. So I should have anticipated, but I think the hot weather really did me in this time around. I probably will be keeping these if they, these do not sell, which was my original reasoning for bringing that up because I'm always looking for comfortable work pants that I can break up a fight in because that's the reality of what I do a lot of times. This next piece is blacks. It is a long, 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 kind of mini length dress with its black. It's got a little bit of detail on it. I don't know if you can see in that, that image, but it is flax. One thing I love about flax is there's inspirational messages on all the tags. So this one says, I love my body. I love all of myself. So I think that's so cute. I am super nerdy. I love all the inspirational messages. Actually on my board every single day in my office, I put a quote of the day. I got this like rip off calendar for Christmas that has a quote of the day from a female, some inspirational female every single day. And I put that quote on my board for the students to see and it's just a cute little connection I have with them not just students but adults as well people always say something about my quote and it means something to me that people are paying attention to what I am putting out there but also it kind of frames my mindset for the day so I am all about the quotes like flax this piece most of these pieces are flax actually which is why I got it this one also says I am whole complete I am whole, full, complete in me. Super cute. I love this design here. It's a wrap skirt is what that is. The little tie on the side. A couple of pieces in the same print, so I'll show you them all together. This one says, I am celebrating me. I celebrate my mind and body. I have thought a couple of times that I would like to start like a print on demand kind of side hustle within the side hustle revolving around quotes, but I'll be honest, I haven't gotten very far on it, but uh, 
yeah, you know, you never know. If I put it out there, maybe I will follow through with that. But yeah, these are pants in that same print. Another piece in that same print, some shorts. This tag says, I love and appreciate myself. I know I am perfect. So I could just imagine as somebody's wearing this, they're just in that mindset. Maybe not everybody pays attention to that, but I do. I think it's cute. I have a couple of pieces in this same print as well. This is exact same shirt, but in two different sizes. This one says, Utopia is a state of mind. Loving, loving these phrases. So this one is size small. This other one here is size petite. Now I noticed on eBay, as I was listing this, there is a petite, petite size. On Poshmark and Mercari, there's only a petite small, and I kind of put these, the small and the petite shirts next to each other. And they're roughly the same size. So I mentioned petite in the description on Poshmark, but as far as the actual size, I did not select a custom size. I just put petite small, and then explained that in the description. But that, see how it just says petite. That's the only size it says. I honestly have never seen that before. I'm assuming it's pretty common. Other people have probably seen it in like vintage brands, probably in flax. I don't have too many flax pieces. The only pieces I have in my closet are from previous flip flops that I bought out. Now these ones were also said to be flax, but they're is no tag nothing on it so i was not able to list them or list i was gonna say them because i thought it was pants but it is a skirt i was not able to look list it as flax i did try doing a google lens look up to see what it pulled up it didn't pull up anything it might very well be flax but i cannot positively say that another piece from this same print as some that i had previously another flax piece this quote says, I love and appreciate myself. I know I am perfect. You just tell I am all, all about these little phrases. This is a crop top um, that kind of wraps together as well. So I could list it as a set with that same print. I do have them listed separately. But I mentioned that, hey, the other piece is also available in my closet as well. Some other pieces that have the same print have, I think, three of these, maybe two, three that have the same print here. Of course, flax, it's life is choice is the phrase there. It's just brown. It reminds me of like popcorn. And these are, this is a vintage piece. I did look it up. It was from 2001. I always think it's funny, like thinking of the time 2001 does not feel like it is vintage. Mm, Show an age there a little bit. I always think it's funny, like comparing different ages, because to me it doesn't seem that long ago at all, but really 2001 was a long, long time ago. This one is a dress in that same print. The tag says, I am always focused in the now, where I have everything wonderful there you go same print in a dress i like it very very cute another piece is a scarf that goes along with it i did end up listing the scarf with the dress in the flip flop though it was listed as a completely separate listing this phrase says I was about to read <laughs> gentle psycho, but it is just the care tag that I was about to read to you. Uh, there is no phrase on this one. Oh, that wouldn't be like flax. This one says life is choice as well. Another flax piece, another quote. There are no limits to my mind except what limits I put myself, put on myself. Oh, this is a skirt. It's like a, um, feels like, uh, what is it? like a potato bag? I don't know what you, a potato sack? Yeah, that's what it feels like, a potato sack. I think that's what I'm trying to say. 
This one is Cloth and Stone by Anthropology. You see the tag there. It is a chambray dress with some ruffles along there. This one is a little bit of a risque piece here. This is a Victoria's Secret, some lingerie. It does have like nipple ties there. You can, I don't, can I imagine what happens with that. <laughs> a little, little interesting, um, but it is I do Victoria's Secret, so it's meant to probably take on honeymoons and do what you gotta do with that one. This next one is flax again. We are back to flax in our cute little quotes. It says, I believe in fun. I love that. This print. When I did look up on Google Lens, this did say a bumblebee print, but that doesn't look like bumblebees to me. I did look up a couple of different listings and it consistently said bumblebee on it. I was thinking like more tropical, but I don't, I guess it's called a bumblebee print. This brand, I always forget if you pronounce it or if you just say the letters, I think it's just the letters. It's A-S-T-R, pretty sure. I don't know, that's how I always say this. It is a swing dress that is gray and it has like the high neck kind of um, keyhole back look that is always so difficult to photograph. When I photograph it, I do it on the wall and then I just kind of pull it out to show that it is not this skinny of a dress. It is a swing dress, but I think if you're getting a swing dress, you kind of like, you know what it looks like in a hair. This piece here is a Nike hoodie. At first glance, I thought that there was like something wrong with the swoosh, but then if you look a little bit closer, that is actually the pocket. So the the, uh, what do you call it, the kangaroo pouch pocket is covering up that little piece. So it is just a Nike women's hoodie. Another flex piece. This one has no quote. Oh, that was like my favorite part of showing you these was these quotes, but this one it doesn't. I, I would say this is definitely a vintage piece for sure. Um, I like it. It's cute, but I'm saddened that there's no quote on it. Kind of like ruined it for me. I don't know. The other ones do though. I think it's cute. It's a cute little touch. It probably doesn't take that much energy for the company. They probably just have a full stock of little quotes, but to me, it means something. I think it's kind of cool. So that is the latest haul that I have listing on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Even though I have a whole death pile of other things. Actually, I just took a whole bunch of stuff to a Goodwill Plato's closet. I took a bunch of stuff to my clothes or my school as well because we do have a clothing closet if kids get dress coded or, you know, if they just need clothes but some of the clothes that I have aren't necessarily appropriate because a lot of stuff in threat of rescue boxes are more cheaper clothes that sometimes people just put like their party clothes and I'm not gonna give my students party clothes. I don't think that would necessarily be appropriate. So I did have to just straight up donate some of my death pile to Goodwill and some of the stuff actually came to a couple of you as well. I did do a giveaway, but then I put it on this like I just really want to give away to people in my community so I did give a couple of other people boxes as well and it just it made my day if I was going to give it away anyways might as well give it to somebody who is loving and supporting me and I don't know I so so appreciate it so if you're not yet subscribed and you want to possibly be randomly gifted something make sure that you are subscribed while you're at it like this video and I will see you in the next unboxing because I still do have plenty of Thread Up Rescue boxes that I need to open up and show you.